let me start now talking about the actual mechanics. So I'm on 11.2.1. Introduction to statistical mechanics. Hmm. So when we talk about statistical mechanics, some people call statistical mechanics as the most fundamental field of physics. Why do they do that? They do that because it can be applied to many physical systems, almost all of them. Because it provides us the techniques we can use by providing techniques for each system. Very important note, statistical mechanics does not provide any laws like F equals MA or the Schrodinger's equation that we were talking about. All it's doing is it's providing us techniques that we can use to apply to different systems to come up with answers. Okay, so does not provide any new laws, just gives us techniques to solve problems. So for most systems, we have two major concerns. One, a large number of particles to keep track of. For example, how many particles in one mole? Right? Can we keep track of every single one? Uh, no, right? And number two, most microscopic systems of particles are in complete chaotic motion. Which means they are unpredictable. So how does statistical mechanics help? How does statistical mechanic help? So here we do not So statistical mechanics comes to our rescue. So in, we don't deal with each individual particle. But rather, 
we deal with what are called ensemble. That word is going to become very important. And what is an ensemble? An ensemble is a collection of like particles. And we use ensembles to calculate the state of a system at any time, T. Remember, that was our problem. We want to know the state of a system at any time, T. And then we want to see what that system will do in the future. So can I, it more broadly, I can define a statistical ensemble can be defined as a probability distribution over, I should probably write that better before someone yells at me. Probability distribution over all possible states of the system. Okay. 